In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to generate a smoke effect in Adobe After Effects CS6. First of all, generate a white solid layer and apply the following effects. Fractal Noise, Wave Warp, and Tritone. Configure the Fractal Noise effect first. Change the Fractal Type to Turbulent Basic, Noise Type to Soft Linear, Invert Checked, Contrast, animate 100 to 125. Brightness, 0.0. .0. Click on the stopwatch button right next to it. Overflow to clip. Next, expand the transform menu. Over there, uncheck uniform scaling. Scale width, 100. Change scale height to 1000. Change the offset turbulence to 324, 243. Check the perspective offset option. Edit complexity to 3. Now animate the evaluation menu, as the interval should be of 0x plus 0.0, .0 degree to 1x plus 358.3 degree. Make sure the keyframes follow the same gap as the contrast option. Let the other settings stay as default. Now move to the wave warp effect. Change the wave height to 50 and wave width to 100. Direction 0x minus 70.0 degree. Next change wave speed to 0.5 pinning to all edges, phase, animate 0x plus 0.0, .0 degree to 1x plus 0.0, .0 degree, keep the same respective gap between the keyframes. Now move over to the tritone effect, change midtone to gray, and keep the other settings as it is, and you're done. Lastly, switch the fractal type to turbulence sharp. Once done, move the seek bar to preview the output.